New details tonight in the death of a Columbia County teenager, which led to the arrest of Salt Life co-founder Michael Hutto. Court documents show Hutto told investigators he and the girl were playing with a gun before she was found dead in a Palm Beach hotel. Hutto faced the judge for the first time since the teen's death. Here's On Your Side's David Jones with what happened. I do find the defendant based on the four corners of the probable cause affidavit is in fact a flight risk. 54-year-old Hutto was slapped with a $255,000 bond on a charge of manslaughter and an additional $5,000 on his weapons offense charge. No, no weapons, no firearms, no contact with the family of the decedent. Tonight, the probable cause affidavit revealing Hutto was reportedly dating 18-year-old Lake City teen Laura Grace Duncan at the time of her death at a hotel in Riviera Beach. Investigators say Duncan's father was aware of the relationship and told them he hadn't had contact with his daughter for days before she was found dead of a gunshot wound inside a room at the hotel. Investigators say he told them he thought Hutto was, quote, giving her drugs to keep her sedated. The day before Duncan's body was found, Hutto reportedly overdosed at a St. John's County gas station. Detectives from South Florida who questioned Hutto at the hospital in Jacksonville say he told them, quote, oh my God, I think I hurt my Gracie before crying. According to the affidavit, Hutto said he and the teen were heading to the Florida Keys to visit friends that they stopped at the hotel and at one point were, quote, playing inside of the hotel room as if they were shooting with their finger and a gun. He said at one point, quote, he pointed the gun at Gracie. It went off and shot her, police say. Manslaughter carries a maximum sentence of 15 years in Florida, but Hutto's charges could be upped if new evidence comes to light. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.